Okay. So since I know you, uh, I'll not be coming or giving you the question like introduce yourself or such things. Uh, you directly tell me that from social work discipline, uh, why are you moving for this particular course? Um, sir, after during my uh, social work graduation at TISS, I realized that uh, uh, I have a good scope in I have a good kind kind of interest in research domain. So I started looking for uh, courses that are particularly involving around development intervention intervention as well as researches. That's why I came to MA Society Culture at IIT Gandhi Nagar. But but your field also gives a lot of scope for research. In fact, uh, all the issues and even your own uh, alma mater also have a very res good research facility for research in social sciences or social work. And some other institutions also have uh, come up with a, a very nice program in research for development and development interventions. But don't you think that this is kind of mismatch that uh, the, your interest lies in development intervention and we are only focusing on uh, culture and society. So what I feel that uh, like TISS has a good uh, platform for research opportunity, but uh, my main reason going for society and culture is uh, is one of the main reason is the uh, tagline of IIT Gandhi Nagar. Also the I believe TISS has something more related to intervention. Uh, for example, if we take the example of courses of MSW in TISS, uh, it has more practical way of teaching or you know, it's more towards field oriented, whether I have more interest in research oriented things. That's why I opted for IIT Gandhi Nagar Society in Culture. Apart from this, uh, while going through the course curriculum, I see they had, uh, it has a very good amount of credit that I have to elect, you know. Uh, Open electives are also available. For example, I have uh, options to open electives from public policy to development to sociology. So that's why I decided to uh, go for this course because this is more or less flexible. Okay, just tell me what is your agenda? Like, like what are you thinking to do in the next two years when you are in when you will be here at IIT Gandhi Nagar? Sir, I feel I will be more inclined into research. I will try to... Don't talk in terms of research. Don't talk in term, uh, Don't talk uh, by taking the name of research. Just tell me what is your goal? What will you do here? And don't say research. Sir, I feel I will develop my skills as much as possible. What is, uh -huh. You just said that uh, uh, TIS and other institutions are focusing on more on the practical aspect, but here the things are more on research orientation. Mm -hmm. We have multiple disciplines together to uh, pursue for that. So we, we are not giving you any skill here. Sorry, I'm not getting you. Like, like the IIT Gandhi Nagar is not giving you any skill or any skill which you can get in any course, which is more practical in nature. No, no, that's why I'm coming to IIT Gandhi Nagar because my agenda is to get skills that I have not uh, get into my bachelor's. For example, I have uh, I believe that I'm not a very good researcher until now. I have done my dissertation, but uh, that is not uh, that is not on onto level. So uh, that's why I get into this course. Apart from the, I've also Did talked. Did you try about to write any research paper in your graduation? Sorry. Did you try to write any research paper in your graduation? Yeah, I have read. I have wrote few. I have, I have, uh, I have uh, my dissertation on migration on labors, uh, backed by my field work. You tried to get it published anywhere? No, I haven't. So just tell me the topic of your dissertation. What was the topic? Uh, my topic was basically uh, I'm from Bihar, so we we are very much prone to migration of informal labor. So usually we see the uh, migration of labor from the perspective of poorness in the Bihar or like, you know, lack of development. But what I tried to uh, gather information, how the climate change or the uh, frequent floods in Bihar has resulted to migration of a very large pool of labors 
to other states so what i did i go to some i i i i i stated some st stats from isro and targeted few districts around my home so so uh, i go to there and i did some field work i collected data and in conclusion was that ki people are migrating not only because of there is a lack of development in bihar but also the frequency of migra uh, frequency of floods has been increased previously the frequency of floods was you know uh, it it was after every 4 or 5 years but in last decade it's almost every 2 years so this is one of the biggest reason why people are migrating also the pattern of migration has been changed it was from circular to now permanent so this is what my major findings also i have done few seminar papers hmm. okay so so when you were talking about the migration uh, did you also try to find out uh, like like how many in numbers in terms of numbers like how many people are migrating how much percent of a villagers a particular village people or youth has been migrated uh my sample size was uh, around 100 i guess so in my sample size uh, as per as... people or 100 village no 100 people in a in a village okay who migrated no my sample size was 100 people i went to a village and i did a random sampling i selected 100 people uh, as it as it was the time of festival chhat puja yeah, it was it was just after Chhat Puja, so a lot of people were here. So I gone through in around my sample size is hundred, and so I guess uh, as well as you call it was uh, eighty percent were male, and out of eighty, uh, I remember sixties to seventy five percent were continuously migrating, and the main reason was uh, to because the the frequency of flood has been increased because they were also not thinking in this perspective. So I specifically, I specifically put this question: ki Does the you know frequency of flood has been uh, changing the pattern of your migration? They said, ki, yeah, it is actually changing." So also I talked about the pattern of migration earlier. It was circular. Now it is transforming into something uh, permanent migration. So around I, I could say around sixty to seventy percent of my respondent were uh, affected by flood and. Flood is one of the major reasons for their migration and changing pattern of their migration. Okay, so so uh, what do you think that you'll be getting from IIT Gandhi Nagar? Like, uh, and and what future do you see for yourself? Honestly speaking, I see myself as a professor or a researcher. I would like to work as a professor after completing my PhD. Yeah. Do you have any area in your mind? Uh, as per as I written in the SOP, I have a good uh, uh, interest of uh, interest in field of rural development. You say rural sociology, how the rural society works, what are the you know what are the brain, what are the things happening in rural society, why people migrate, why why the village is still underdeveloped, apart from contributing. Um, being 60% of the total population of India, why there is so much lack of basic amenities. So this is where my major research field will be. Okay, so give me some uh, salient feature of rural society. Sir. Which, mm -hmm. and, and, and try to differentiate with uh, urban society. Sir, I believe one of the most salient feature of rural society is being homogeneous. Like rural people are kind of, uh, you know, they are, they are, they have a kind of, you know, um, in words of Durkheim, I would say they were kind of mechanical solidarity. Uh, whereas in, in the cities, it is kind of organic solidarity. People are villages in, in together because they have to be together because people are dependent on each other. And other, other features, if you can mention Mm. One more feature I would say people in villages are mm, like it's not feature, it's kind of I would say it's uh, it's an yeah, it's kind of feature that people of villages want to develop. Like they want to, you know, came into the come into the mainstream, they want to enjoy the um, every aspect of the society, but they can't. Okay. 
this is one of the silent feature of rural society they want to get out of that strata but i think you you could have talked about uh, like waha pe joint families hoti hai urban area mein nuclear families zyada hote hain waha pe jo matlab neighborhood hota hai wo mostly relatives aur unke parivar ke hi wo hote hain urban area mein aisa nahi hota hai gaon mein jo jo colony decides the colony jo establish hoti hai mostly caste मेजोरिटी के हिसाब से कॉलोनी बनती है ये सब क्यों नहीं बोल रहे हो गांव में सुपरसीशन ज्यादा होता है दे आर मोर रोटेड टू देयर ट्रेडिशंस ये सब फीचर्स है उसके आई थॉट दिस आर मोर बेसिक तो ये ये सब बताना चाहिए ना तुम्हें ओके एनीवे इफ आई विल आस्क यू व्हाट डिफरेंस डू यू सी ए इन टर्म ऑफ माइग्रेशन ओनली व्हिच यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन अ रिसर्च ऑन दैट व्हाट डिफरेंस the technology can bring or has brought in in migration aspect so i believe the information technology mm -hmm. so i believe technology has is going to play a very major role in migration because recently if i'm talking about the urban setting let's say for, for example i'm from a tier 2 city um there's a trend that i don't need to migrate to bangalore or you know mumbai to you know work so this work from home culture has been improving or helping a lot in migration if we think in terms of the villages i think there is a i think there will be a span of 10 to 15 years that technology will be uh, reached at that level or at that grassroots level that it will help, help the village people it will help the rural india to not to migrate so currently it is helping the tier 2 cities to not to migrate but for rural india it is it is quite you know uncertain right now at at this position of time but it might help in after two or three decade that rural people might get you know benefits from technology or it so they will not migrate okay can you suggest any policy that you don't find that government has brought it yet what do you think if this policy if this government will bring this policy it will have a great impact on rural economy and development sir i believe uh, sir can you take can even take the local reference also matlab what i am saying is if any policy that you find if it was there mm -hmm. uh, there would have been change in their economic status or development status of a rural area you can take the example of bihar only so what i feel the there are lot of more policy and intervention needs in in bihar context in education in rural india rural bihar some uh, there is not a not a, at all good situation what do you think the the education will matlab uh, alone education will not bring any development but it will increase the migration because right now many people who are not very much educated they fear to go outside but if they will be educated they will proudly go outside that i am now a learned person i can get a job easily so i think uh, if we are talking about directly about development by skipping by skipping uh, you know uh, education so it's quite of uh, utopian i guess if you are if you are talking about development and not people letting migrate i think the first step in case of bihar specific it would be first educating the rural educating the person as much as can because for example But if this is see... already being done on the so uh, i was uh, asking that if anything else which government is not doing if you can suggest so i think it must be uh, uh, on a vague level i would say it must be on working on industry in bihar there is not there is not a single industry in bihar the government is trying for that also the, the bihar government is creating a bihar industrial corridor or industrial so development but it's it's not uh, but the need of our is not something like uh, it uh, it is the need of our uh, being a industry corridor is is the need of our but i think it's it's going to take at least one or two decade to to keep bihar and maharashtra theek hai matlab thoda tum is pe kar sakte the matlab like तुमने ऑलरेडी रिसर्च कर रखा है कि सीजनल जो चेंजेस है फ्लड है उसके कारण लोग माइग्रेट हो रहे हैं 
माइग्रेट क्यों हो रहा है कि फ्लड इज आल्सो रेडिंग देयर एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट एंड एवरीथिंग तो तुम अगर तुम ये करते कि एग्रीकल्चरल इंश्योरेंस या फिर फ्लड सिचुएशंस को हैंडल करके या फ्लड के साथ या फिर एमएसपी नहीं है बिहार में कुछ कई सारी ऐसी रीजंस है ऐसी चीजें है व्हिच यू कैन थॉट ऑफ यू कुड हैव थॉट और थॉट ऑफ और 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 ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग सम पैरेलल इकोनॉमी इन टर्म ऑफ कल्चरल हेरिटेज एंड अदर थिंग्स तो कुछ ऐसा जो गवर्नमेंट अभी तक नहीं कर रही है और कर लेती तो वो चेंज आता समझे तो वैसा कुछ बात करना चाहिए था ठीक है चलो अभी तक तो ठीक है हम लोग फिर से करेंगे इसको तुम्हारे लिए ठीक है एक और इंटरव्यू तो लेंगे लेंगे बाकी अभी थोड़ा सा वो है कि मिसिंग लग रहा है ना कि तुम्हारी रीडिंग नहीं है और अलाइनमेंट नहीं है इस कोर्स से तो ज्यादातर तुम घूमते फिरते भी रहे हो तो वो ऑब्जर्वेशनल वो तो दिख रहा है और एपेटाइट भी दिख रहा है लर्निंग का बट बट वैसा नहीं फील हो रहा है कि यू विल बी सेटल्ड इन द कॉलेज वे आर टू मच रीडिंग इन इज इन्वॉल्व एंड यूल बी सेटल इन अ कॉलेज और रिसर्च बोलने से रिसर्च नहीं होता यू नीड टू फाइंड द एरिया कि हम इस एरिया में काम करना चाहते हैं डोंट टॉक इन टर्म ऑफ रिसर्च की रिसर्च करना चाहते हैं रिसर्च करना चाहते हैं प्रोफेसर बनना चाहते हैं से कि कल्चरल एस्पेक्ट से डेवलपमेंट को कैसे ब्रेन किया जाए कैन वी मोल्ड आवर वीकनेसेस तो कल्चरल जो वो है ट्रेडिशंस को इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट की तरफ मोबिलाइज किया जा सकता है कि नहीं एंड देर देर आर मेनी कंट्रीज और प्लेसेस वेयर दे हैव ऑलरेडी डन इट तो इंडिया में कहाँ कहाँ ऐसा स्कोप है वेयर द द ट्रेडिशंस द कल्चर्स कैन बी ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड इन टू इकोनॉमिक मोबिलिटी इस तरीके से कुछ बात करो ना कोई सब्जेक्ट दो कोई एरिया दो कोई पर्सपेक्टिव दो सब so, yes. फील कि हम ना वो करते थे आ, <coughs> मतलब जो बेसिक चीजें उनको स्किप करके थोड़ा ग्रैंड थ्योरी की तरफ हम सोच रहे हैं ज्यादा वो आ, वो और बार बार रिसर्च बोलने से नहीं होता ना मैं आई वाज ट्राइंग टू मतलब ये कि वहां रुको थोड़ा सोच के बोलो कि कौन सा एरिया होगा तो कुछ उसे अलाइन करना पड़ेगा अपने आप को फॉर द फ्यूचर वहां जाके क्या करोगे और वहां से आगे जाके क्या करोगे ये प्रोफेसर बनेंगे और रिसर्चर बनेंगे ये कौन सा ये क्लास सेवेंथ का बच्चा ऐसा बोलता है ठीक है 